excuse me, 2-0 and on the count, but now it's 2-1, and one, and Simonelli gets a lot of this one. Going back in center field is Haley Thomas and catches the ball over the shoulder. The junior from Talmadge, Ohio, swings and pops this one up into left center field. Going back are the infielders. They watch it go, and at the last second, Alicia Nichols, the center fielder, reaches her glove up and backhands a catch right in front of the wall. The right side and went right into left field. So the Vikings now, Gillian hits it right up the middle, but it goes past the pitcher as it hits off her glove. And Megan Bashak able to score for the first run of the game for Cleveland State. Simonelli checks the swing at the ball. ball gets away from Vicky Rump, and then Rump tries to throw it down to first and goes way over the first baseman's head. Derek Tolman comes around to score, and Simonelli cruises into second base before putting that bat on the ball. Cito swings again and hits this one in the center field pretty well, put a charge into it, but going back, making the over-the-shoulder catch is Haley Thomas. So he's yet to figure out Tess Cito this weekend and five at-bats. And this one, she hits very well in the right field, and that ball is gone out of here. So with two outs in the sixth inning, Haley Thomas, the leadoff hitter for Youngstown State, cuts the Cleveland State lead in half. She's had Samogi's number so far today. First pitch, bombed into left center field, going, going, that ball is out of here. So Dara Tolman, dialing long distance for Cleveland State, puts the Vikings up three to one and matches what Haley Thomas of Youngstown State did in the top of this inning. As Cito needs only one more out for the next victory, and this ball is grounded up back to the pitcher. Cito catches it, throws the first for the third out. So Cleveland State gets off to a good start here in the doubleheader for Senior Day as they defeat Youngstown State 3-1. to one.